Hey everyone, today we are at Moke America in St. Simons Island where we are checking out the electric Moke. These things were originally built to be used by the British military, but nowadays you can buy them for personal use. They're built out of Sarasota, Florida, and they have electric drivetrain in them. They have everything you need to register them for street use here in Georgia, but your locale may differ. Now, if we look underneath the hood here, you can see that the Moke has a 12 kilowatt hour battery capacity electric drivetrain, which makes about 25 peak horsepower with a range of about 40 miles or so, which makes it perfect for using around golf and beach communities like this. Now we're in St. Simons Island, Georgia, which might be one of the perfect spots to use a moke because it's a great little beach town. So let's get this thing wrapped up, get behind the wheel and hit the road. Let's go. So climb in, good little, not necessarily a door jam because there's no door, but a little bit to crawl over. There are seat belts, so make sure we got that on. Now it does come with a stereo system. This one has an upgraded wooden steering wheel. It does have a backup camera, headlights, hazards, mirrors, and the like, plus this little thing to hold your beach bag, which I think is pretty convenient. Well, you can pick a whole bunch of different colors and interior options. I really like like these seats that they have on here. And then there's also the option for a bench seat. And of course there are cup holders in the center of the car. You got a windshield with wipers and a roll bar. And then there is the option for a bimini roof, which attaches with these little rivet systems all around the car. Then if we take the key, we can put that right over into here. And then we simply throw it into drive. We're good to go. But to get her moving, since it's electric, we just get going. And that instant torque does like to make this thing move. It's pretty fun, not gonna lie. You feel vibrant, you feel seen, and you're driving around something you know a little bit more special than your average golf cart, which is fun. Now the Moke does have a top speed of 25 miles per hour, so it's registered as a slow vehicle, which means you can use it on local roads like this, but you don't want to be taking this thing out on the highway. But honestly, for a sunny day like this, I don't know if there's anything better you'd want for cruising around with you and all your friends. Speed limit 25, luckily we can do 25. So you're not going to be getting a speeding ticket, which is nice. It's out in the open, so you get all the fresh air and the wind in your hair, but you do still have a roll bar in case things get a little frisky. Whip this around the roundabout. Funny, actually, as I was driving by, I just heard these bikers say this thing is cute. Hey, yo, you didn't wave. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, she said she loves it. See, you'll get attention. It's cute and it's a vibrant little thing to drive around in. And honestly, yeah, so you're not going to be breaking any speed records in it, but you feel fun in this. It's better than your average golf cart because you get to feel a little bit more of the community. You get to feel a little bit more unique. People are going to wonder what it is. It's nice. It's cute and I like it. So honestly, a great little beach cruiser, a great little thing to get around town, go get coffee in. And when the weather is this perfect, I mean, come on. How can you not love it? Oh, well, maybe the person behind us in traffic doesn't love it, but I love it. I believe the Moke weighs about 2,200 pounds so it's got a little bit of weight in it but it's built solid this is all metal this isn't plastic so you're gonna get a little bit of weight if you want that extra build quality I believe these start at around twenty three thousand dollars and you got a choice of a whole bunch of different vibrant colors if you want a roof if you want a different steering wheel you can do different materials and colors on the seats and the wheels a whole bunch of different stuff so you can customize it and make it your own as you can see right here it's got turn signals and it's got wipers so you're not missing too many modern conveniences out of you know a regular car it has these nice mats which are easy to clean out and so if you take this car to the beach instead of your daily driver you're not going to get sand in there or anything like that you got something that's basically built for the purpose but also apparently a lot of mokes are actually rented out for birthdays weddings and other ceremonies where you need to get a bunch of people around but you want to do it in a little bit more of a fun style it helps make even the transportation part of the event also has a little reverse gear if you want to back up back in the first And you're just cruising. You feel all the wind around you. So far, everyone I've been driving by in this thing has been giving it thumbs up. It's pretty fun. Because honestly, who doesn't want to drive around and have fun and work on your tan at the same time? The seats are on rails, so they can move back and forth pretty easy. So even if you're a taller person, you can get in, move around, not too bad. Got a light. So the Moke isn't something that you'll be taking on the highway, but for a little cruise around town like this, oh, it's perfect. So we borrowed this one from Moke America in St. Simons Island, Georgia, but there's a bunch of different dealers around the country. But at least in St. Simons, I know they have a bunch of different models and different colors and different options and specs. So you can actually check out how you would want to build your personal Moke if you wanted to buy one. Go around this corner right here. Not too bad. And hit the apex. Boom. Come back here to a couple of other Mokes. Neutral, handbrake, park, and that was the drive on the electric moke. Thanks to St. Simon's Moke America, and see you next time.